this research in the field of UFOs. There is so much to talk about, however, we were unable to fit it all into one program. So my guest again this week is UFO researcher, former state senate candidate, and uh, award-winning pilot John Lear. Mr. Lear, nice to have you here again. Always a pleasure to be here, George. Um, to begin with, uh, we have this concept of the people from other planets as little green men. Um, are they green from what you know? Uh, are they all the same or we got different kinds of them? George, there's at least 70 different species and probably more. But yes, uh, as odd as it sounds, there are little green men. That's not the ones we usually see though. We see the little gray ones. They're about uh, four and a half feet tall. And we see the ones that uh, are called the Nordics. They're about seven feet tall, look like us, but they're invariably blonde hair and blue eyed. They're one of the species that we have on ice. Uh, one of their crashes we recovered. Obviously, with different species, they have different motives. I mean, are there are there good aliens and bad aliens? Good aliens from what you and know? bad aliens, and all kinds of ways and reasons for interacting with us. And what are some of the reasons? Why why would they be here? Uh, genetic experiments, uh, uh, trying to. Uh, there, you know, there's a misconception here. People think that uh, our space brothers would bring us, uh, you know, uh, good things and uh, teach us uh, how to get rid of all our diseases and. Uh, you know, if you get to, if you stop and think about it, that may not be the best thing because if you uh, had a, had a uh, society without any disease and everybody starts living 150 years, that creates a lot of problems. So uh, they would not meddle in that, in that way. You believe uh, in part that the movies uh, E.T., uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, were not entirely just uh, the creative products of some Hollywood director, that maybe there's more to that. Why don't you explain? They were carefully um, guided by representatives from MJ-12, who is this organization that is in charge of the cover-up, in order to get us ready for the release of the information that there are indeed aliens. And uh, in both those movies, they used small little creatures and, uh, in order to get us ready for this uh, release of information. So to prepare us that the idea of benevolent aliens from outer space yeah, uh, are going to help us out. Unfortunately, uh, they're, not, they're not so benevolent. So they made a, probably one of the most disastrous mistakes